So I have a very um, ad hoc video for you today. Well, this video has been planned for quite some time, but in order to get my beautiful wife, Alice, I don't organize, I just, we just do it sporadically, don't we? That's how we roll. Yeah, hey. Which camera? <laughs> Got a couple of cameras here. I know, which one do I look into? So Alice, I was taking some photos of Alice for her Instagram. I'll link to her Instagram below if you want to check that out. And she was by a plant, looking really lovely. And I said, let's do this video that I've been wanting to do. And that is, I want to walk Alice through walk. her training zones. We're sitting. Sit me through Sorry, my training zones. Sit, sit you through your training zones. So we recently did an FTP test, husband versus wife. I'll link to that video it's below. a little bit different than the tests I had to do when I was in my early 20s. What tests are they? The ST. Oh, oh, don't, worry, oh don't worry about oh, it. Okay, don't worry about right. it. right. Um, anyway, a little bit sidetracked now. I'm thinking about some inappropriate things. <laughs> Do you want to start again? No. That's really funny though. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> so. Am I kidding? We did your FTP test. I'm lying. Yeah, I'm sorry, we, go. We did your FTP test. See, the clouds are now coming over. Come it's on, very babe. frustrating. It's not. Ruins the lighting. Um, so, can you remember your number for your FTP test? 148. You got 181. Okay. Was your FTP? So what I can now do with that number is punch it into a little calculator here, mm. and we've got <laughs> seven training zones. These are your power zones. Yeah. Um, now before I walk you through them, do you have any idea what training zones are? Yes. The, I don't know how many there are. Probably three, but I've only ever really heard about two. Okay. And what are they? What is what is two? What are the two training zones you've heard about? <laughs> what does number two work for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so You're, you, you just have no idea, really. <laughs> training zone one is like that would be pretty much, would well, that be me pretty much asleep, I reckon. Okay. Tra no, it's not though, I get it. Okay. Training zone two is how I build my base fitness. So that would be the one that I'm sticking in for the majority of time to build my endurance and base fitness. That's correct. So that I'm not like pushing my body too hard. Maybe. Yes, yeah. Training zone three is like my max threshold training zone. No. So oh, I'm going to put these numbers up on the screen for everyone and I'm going to give them to you after this. Right. So we're going to walk through starting with one and mm -hmm. we're going to finish with seven. Now it's debatable. There's, seven zones. There's different things online, okay. um, but I like seven zones and it's commonly referred to as the seven training zones. So training zone one is what we call active recovery. Okay. And for you, that's anything under 100 watts, okay? Yeah. So... Can I just confirm something? Yeah. When, you, when you're talking about watts, you're talking about like all of these training zones, because I'm running and swimming too. This is only applicable to the bike. Because you're is, talking this, watts. So this I is only, to be on a bike to be getting is, watts. This is only applicable to the bike, okay. because using a power meter, which is measure, 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 ah, measuring your, uh, your power output, through the crank, yeah. which feeds into your bike computer, <laughs> and then you get your watts. Um, you can use heart rate, but the the challenge or some of the issues with heart rate is your heart rate can vary based off conditions. So you might be fatigued, there might be hot weather. Yeah. Um, also, if you're, if you're wanting to go directly into zone five or zone six for a minute or two, it mm. might take your heart rate 30 seconds to adjust to being in that zone, whereas yeah. powers immediately. So you know you're in a zone almost straight away. Yeah. So you can be a lot more effective with training with power and also using zones because I like to refer to zones as like the cycling weight rack. So when you go to the gym, there's a weight rack and you know, okay, what am I training today? Mm -hmm. You can pick up your weights and you can you can train accordingly. Mm -hmm. That's what your zones enable you to do. I'm yeah, racket. Yeah, racket. Yeah. Um, so, Active recovery zone, this is basically where you would, if you were doing a recovery week or a recovery ride, you'd probably go out and do anywhere between 80 to 100 watts. Mm -hmm. So you would do this, um, say if you've done a big four week block of training, mm -hmm. you might do a week spending most of your rides in active recovery. Yeah. Just so you're still on the bike, you're still doing activity, but you're giving your body a rest. Um, you might also spend the first five minutes of your ride, say on the indoor trainer, mm -hmm. you know how you're doing a lot of zone two rides at the moment, you yeah. might spend the first five, even 10 minutes in active recovery because that just enables your, your body to get warm. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Did you just drop one? Oh my God, what is going on here? <laughs> That's epic. I, I, There's a beautiful I, wife that just dropped one in front of me. Everybody farts. Yeah. And I, ate <laughs> I ate kale chips oh, from Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gonna 
That That's doesn't better. smell like anything. The plant. Thank God the plant's here. Um, what you might also do is after a ride is you might spend five, 10 minutes in active recovery at the end mm. just to clear out any lactate that's in the blood, okay. in, the, in the muscles. Yeah. So zone two, you know that, that's your endurance. <gasps> that's your base training zone. I'm boring the shit out of you, am I? And yeah. you're farting, this is going really well. Um, so this is where you build your base fitness. Yeah, okay, so, true. Um, if you're, there's different methodologies, but one of the proven scientific methodologies is if you've got an event, mm -hmm. say you're training for the Noosa Triathlon, and the the, the time trial is going to be 40 kilometers, so it's going to probably take you. Can I take any, this moment to share something with you yeah. that I have been keeping a secret? Yeah. <laughs> Actually registered for the Malula Bar 70.3, which is on the 8th of September. So that's double the Noosa try, and that's the day before I fly to the US for work. Okay. So this is big, it's a big one. All right, we will talk about that after this video. Yeah. But uh, maybe you might want to reference that now instead. So, it's well, a, that's so, so for, for base, right, you want to build a solid base foundation for about 120 to 150% of the time it's going to take you to complete that effort so or that leg. So it's a 90K ride. It's a 90K ride. So that could take you three hours. So you want base fitness for at least four hours, which means you want limited cardio drift. Mm. You want your heart rate pretty much staying the same. So you can go out and do a four hour ride in zone two mm. without much cardio drift. Then you've got solid base. Yeah. Okay. So then you can go, okay, I've got a solid base. Now, where do I go next? Now, zone three is an interesting one. It's called tempo, which for you is between 137 and 163 yeah. watts. A lot of cyclists spend a lot of their time riding in their tempo zone, but it's really, it's kind of like no man's land. Like you'll spend a bit of time if you're doing bunch rides in yeah. tempo, in the triathlon, you might do a little bit. When you start first implementing efforts, you might use your tempo zone just to get used to doing an, e an effort, mm -hmm. but it's not really an effective training zone to improve mm -hmm. your cycling. Even though a lot of people spend a lot of time in there and the reason why they do that is because zone two feels a little bit too soft even though that's where you build your base. And zone four, which we'll talk about next, feels a little bit too hard. So they spend a lot of time in zone three, even though that's not really effectively, they're not really training effectively. Zone four is your lactate threshold power zone. So this is what we call your hour power. So you should be able to go out and ride for an hour in this zone, which is between 164 and 190 watts. So I should be, as in I should be able to do that now, or I should, I, my goal well, is to work up to that? No, I, I, should be able to I, I don't think you should. I don't think you could be able to do that now because you're not conditioned. No, no. you've never done it before. Correct. But it's it's a target, right? So this is you should be doing a lot of work in this zone for your triathlon because this this is your hour of power, right? Particularly mm -hmm. say for the Noosa triathlon, which is forty kilometres. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you a little bit longer than an hour. But say your bottom end zone four, that's where you want to be sitting. So this mm. is the beauty of the power meter, right? You can now go. We can do specific training, so we can do efforts. Mm -hmm. um, we may not start with an hour effort, we might start with 10 minute efforts mm -hmm. and have a rest, and then we might work up to 20 minute efforts and then 30 minute efforts, and then we might Are you gonna coach me with this? Yeah, of course. Do you wanna let people know what's going on? Yeah, of course, I'm fine with that. Okay. Do you wanna let them know that. that I'm gonna become a cycling coach? Oh. Are we, am I allowed to say that? Well, I've just told them. <sighs> I've decided to become a cycling coach, everybody. I'm the reason, waffling on like one anyway, so. The in, reason that I'm grunting and I'm not listening like a perfect client. Yeah. The reason that I'm grunting is because I asked him to be my cycling coach last week. Yeah. And it's gonna do one of two things, isn't it? Could break us. It might break our marriage up. Yeah. But as long as I do a good Ironman, it's gonna be okay. Half Ironman, yeah. Half home, yeah. man. Thanks, babe. No, it's still very impressive, but I just, just you've got to be factual on YouTube, otherwise you will get sliced apart in the comment section. Trust. Trust me, I see it every single time I publish a video. Okay. Which is fine, I get it. So you're going to be a cycling coach. Going to be a cycling coach. This is very exciting. Yeah, so this is, that was a small segue. Let's stick with this, mm -hmm. okay? So 164 to 190 is your hour power zone. And the reason why it's called lactate threshold, if you actually measured your blood lactate levels, yep. They would be going like this on a slight angle, and this is where they spike. Right. Okay. So this is when you start going deep into your glycogen stores and your muscles, mm -hmm. 
and you start using more of your you know, direct um, carbohydrate storage in the yeah. muscles as opposed to using oxygen. Yeah. And that's why you start to fatigue here. Mm -hmm. um, now your VO2 max zone is 191 to, to 217 watts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now your VO2 max would be efforts, you might go out and do some efforts and we'll probably start implementing these. Sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. Um, but I, I want to get you started to do some we're going to get you to do, because you've never done an effort before, right? We're going to get you to do some- I've been married to you for a few years. We do lots of five seconds efforts <laughs> in the evenings. Um, so even though tempo zone isn't a great zone- Five second effort. To train in. That, that, um, I wasn't sharing that with the people, but if you feel like- Being honest, yeah. Mm. Um, so, so I'm actually going to get you to start doing some of your- initial efforts in tempo zone, just to get used to doing an effort, right? In tempo five, zone. Five and 10 minute efforts in your tempo zone. Yep. And then we'll work towards your zone four. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna start implementing some VO2 max efforts as mm -hmm. well. Um, and also your anaerobic capacity, which is your zone six. We've got 13 weeks um, for this, right? That's when you completely switch over from using oxygen mm. into the working muscles to purely, you're just using your glycogen stores within your muscles. And that's yep. why those efforts your muscles start to shut down because mm -hmm. there's too much lactate mm -hmm. in your in your blood, in your muscle. And those efforts are anywhere between 30 seconds to three minutes. Yep. And then your zone seven, which is neuromuscular, mm -hmm. which is like full fast twitch muscle fiber, mm -hmm. anything over, um, so we've got here 219 watts plus is your zone six and then really all out effort like if you're sprinting, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 30 second effort max would be your zone seven. Now, for you doing a triathlon, you might think, well, why would I bother doing that? And this is down the track, right? Once we've been implementing efforts for probably a month or two, mm -hmm. probably a couple of months, we'll start doing some little sprints. Mm -hmm. When you start working your neuromuscular system, that's res directly responsible for the recruitment of more muscle fibers. Mm because you're working your fast twitch well, this and, is if, and then do. and then you can basically make that whole muscular group mm. more powerful so this is why we do interval running training for long distance running exactly right so while zones five six and seven you're probably not going to use in your tr in your um triathlon not you know in, in the, the bike let, you, you'll be sort yep. of sitting in zone four yep. you still want to work zones five six and seven because they're going to help with your overall fitness mm -hmm. and your overall strength on the bike so it's a lot of information to take on board we're going to slowly now you've built your base you've got pretty good base now for an hour to an hour and a half right mm -hmm. we're going to slowly start to implement some efforts into mm -hmm. your training we're going to start with tempo just to get you used to doing it an effort five ten minutes but then within the next couple of weeks we're going to start working in zone four yeah and then we're going to start implementing some shorter efforts but you've just told me some news, so we're probably gonna to have to still continue to work on our base because you're gonna need some pretty solid base fitness yeah. for this half iron woman. Man. Iron man. Well, iron person. Iron person. And yeah, I've got 13 weeks, so that's yeah. quite a, it's good. Cool.